And Christine and Talitha, good afternoon. Traffic is backed up for several miles. Just in the last few minutes, North Carolina State Highway Patrol was able to confirm with us that two kids are now dead. I want to step out of the way here and show you the scene behind us right now. You can see that tractor trailer that has just been turned back over. North Carolina troopers tell me a black Ford Escape lost control, hit a guardrail, then swerved in front of this tractor trailer. They say that tractor trailer tried to avoid hitting them and rolled over on the interstate. We are told four people were inside that escape. A 14 year old and a five year old were both killed. A woman who was inside the SUV along with a nine year old were both taken to the hospital along with the tractor trailer driver who was also taken to the hospital. The traffic reconstruction unit is on scene. The North Carolina State Highway Patrol was also using a drone to map out that scene. You can see traffic is backed up for miles back up to around exit number 65. No word on when they're going to be moving this tractor trailer out of the way. But as you can see behind me, they just flipped this tractor trailer back over. It was on its side, so traffic should open sometime within the next several hours. But when we have a better estimate of that time, we will bring that to you. For now, we're live. Justin Schreyer, WXII 12 News.